Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Well, it's morning in my world, and it is the month of October, so it's a little chilly out, but the sun is shining, so I'm taking advantage of another sunny day before the snow comes. Anyways, today I have the 4K F11 Pro. So this is, yeah, you remember the F11? The F11 was probably the most popular drone I ever reviewed. You know, that was a while ago. And then they made the F11 Pro. I think that just had a bigger lens. It was more, uh, yeah, it was just a better lens for filming. And now they have this one here, this F11 4K Pro. So what's so great about this one? Well, let me take it out and tell you. So here we have the drone. Doesn't it look familiar? It looks like, well, the F11, it's the same style. Except for when you get down to the camera, check that out. There is a two axis gimbal on that camera and it's electronic image stabilized. So this camera gives you the best of both worlds. It's pretty darn sweet. So let me put up here, where, where's my finger? Let me put over here all the features of this here drone. So it uh, flies for 26 minutes. It's got a range of 1200 meters. It does actually film in 4K and it does take photos in 4K. It's not a fake 4K, it's a true 4K. It actually works. Got the normal brushless motors, foldable props, foldable arms. It does have an optical flow on the bottom. You can see it down there. And you can put a micro SD card in it right there to record your video. All right, so let's go take this baby for a flight. All right, so let's get going. We'll take the controller this time and start that first. Now the controller is very different looking. Let me grab my GoPro here and show you it up close. So check that out. It's a little bit different than other controllers that have come in the past. There, I've just flipped up the top, put the antennas out, pulled out the handles. So why is it a little bit different? Well, look at the screen. You can actually see the writing on the screen. So the screen is not your typical screen. It doesn't have like an LCD display behind. It actually has the letters, the words are right there and the symbols and then a light shines behind them. Will I be able to see that outside? I don't know. There we go, I just powered it on. Can you see any difference? Well, actually you have to put a little bit of shade on it to see it and you should see that GPS you should see the GPS stands out more than everything else. It's in green. Next thing we do is power on the drone. You should see some lights as it powers on. And I don't know if the gimbal adjusts itself, but there we go. You can tell me. All right, so you got your drone powered on and your controller powered on. Next thing is connect your phone to the Wi-Fi shooting out from the drone. And you can see on my screen, there's a little arrow. I'm showing it over here. I have already connected it. Now we're gonna open up the app. The app you're gonna use is the SJF Pro app. I'm gonna tap on that. There you go, you can see the GoPro looking at my camera, which is looking forward. Next thing we have to do is a compass calibration and it's just a matter of taking these joysticks and pushing them forward to the top and in. Watch this, like that. There you go, and then pick up your drone. You see the lights blinking, you see them back here. Uh, we want to change those to solid color. So it's pretty simple, just turn it three times, once, twice, three times, and then the front one should still be blinking. Can you see that? And then point the nose down and do it three times. Once, twice, three times, and let me show you everything should be solid. So solid back, solid front. We are good. Whoa, does my, my gimbal camera ever look messed up? No, it's all sideways. It's got to straighten itself. Hopefully you can see that it's straightening itself on my screen. Next thing we have to do is a gyro calibration, and that's just take these and go up and out, vice up and in. So up, and out like that. There we go. See on my screen what it says? And that's it. Now it knows it's level. Now it has the compass, the satellites and everything else and it's ready to go. And I see a little dog over there. <laughs> it's the funniest looking dog running. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's take this up. Okay, start the motors, pull in and take it on up. There we go. So let me just walk around this and see how stable it is. Looks pretty stable so far. Looks good, looks good. So it looks pretty decent, flies nice. No issues there, it's very stable with the GPS flying it around. You can see I have a little label on the back that says F11 4K Pro. Okay, I've got the video recording on. This is what it looks like, here we go. I'm walking close and uh, here I am going far away. How does it look? How does it look for getting everything in the image? And I'm over here, I'm just gonna fly it towards me. Here we go, come on towards me, drone. How's that image look? Pretty good. Bring it this way, and there we are. So there's a camera gimbal on here, let me move it up. I think that's up, yeah, there we go. See, nice and smooth up, and I can move it down, and it makes no beeps, which is nice. Look at that, I can go down, 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 down. So the camera, on, so the camera gimbal on here actually is kind of like 
normal. Okay, if you look at my phone display, there's two follows on here. One is called image follow and one is called GPS follow. I'll put on image. So let me just hit that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So let's do this. Slide and uh, draw a box around me. There we go. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> it lost me as soon as I did that. Let me try that again. Maybe I'm too close or too far. Box around me. There we go. Tap on the box. Usually you tap on it, but no, it's got me this time. So are you following me? Yes, it is. It is following me. You can see it on my phone display. So this does have active track and it seems like it's a stay in position active track. Or is it a follow me one? Let me walk backwards. I'll be very surprised if it's follow me. I'd be like jumping for joy if it was because budget drones don't have an active track follow me. Now, you see how it doesn't follow me? And if I walk closer, it doesn't. But it's designed just to stay in one spot. And if I was playing a sport or something or riding around on my bike farther away, of course, like this, uh, then it would just follow me and film me as I'm doing stuff here on the ground. So that's pretty good. I'm shooting into the sun now. How does that look? Let me get it out of the sun and let's bring it back to normal looking video. I don't want to walk in the mud here. There we go. And of course, the other follow me that we use all the time is the GPS follow me. So if I click that one, it's right the second one in and then walk with my back. It should just follow me. There we go. So there's your GPS follow. Oh my God, this grass is so wet down here. It's just terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. So we know those all work. Here, let's go sideways, see what it does. And if I walk around, it should kind of follow me still. There you go. Doing its thing. All right. So <laughs> hey, puppy. <laughs> so with the... I think the puppy wants me to follow it too. All right, let me show you what else is on here. Let's take this over, bring this over here. Hang on, my phone is talking. What is my phone saying here? Can you hear that? That's what's coming out of the actual app. It's talking to me and saying something about the compass and the propeller. Open propeller on mobile drone or calibration compass. It thinks it thinks the arms are folded up or something. Anyways, I'm gonna ignore that because everything seems to be working out well here. Apparently there's an orbit on here that you hit these two buttons here and you can do an orbit. So let's do this. It says place the drone over which you want to orbit. So that'd be me. I want to orbit me. Then it says press these two buttons in the front. Yeah, press these two buttons. There we go. Now do the radius. So I'll take it back. And that's the radius. You can see me. And now I'm gonna hit the two buttons again and it should go into orbit mode. There it goes. So it works perfectly. Yes. Let me turn the volume off on here so that we don't have to listen to uh, barking Betty there. So there's the orbit mode. It's going around. It looks pretty sweet. It's doing a great job, nice and low. I've put it low like that. I can even bring it lower. I gotta bring the, uh, I'm gonna have to bring the camera up here. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. So now I've got the camera going up as I'm going around. This could come in handy. I like that shot. That's a good shot. Look at this walking. That's a decent shot. So I think that'd be pretty good. All right, I'll take the drone for a short flight and get some uh, video and photos. Here we go. Now, one other thing to show you is this dial here acts as a zoom. So you see, I'm looking at that yellowish tree on my screen. And if I just turn the dial, there we go. Now I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Now, if you're looking at my screen, I'm flying towards the farmhouse in the very top. If it's recording, uh, you'll see this green bar that has moved. There used to be a green bar along the top and it's moved down to a yellow bar. So that tells you my flight time. And eventually it's going to go into return to home mode because it says, you know, you're running out of battery power. Drone low voltage. 
There we go, it said drone low voltage, so it's coming on home based on low battery power. So let's see if it lands over on my little spot over here. So you can see my controller, the display here, and the drone. That's what it's showing, it's coming back. So that means it should be someplace up there. Here it comes down, here it comes down. Let's see where it's gonna land. Make sure I don't step on anything. And there it is. Whoa. There it is. She's down. <laughs> that was a bit of a bounce. Well, that's where it landed. But if you go this way, all the way over here, there's the landing pad. So there's the landing pad and the drone is right over there. All right, final thoughts on the F11 4K Pro. Definitely an improvement over previous F11s. It actually works quite well. The only glitch I had was that goofy voice. Hopefully it recorded that kept saying, you know, compass problem, uh, unfold the props and all this other stuff. It does fly for a long time. It does fly for a long time. So even though I only have one battery with this, you get a lot of flight time. And it does seem like it's on the edge of being a, almost like a, a quality pro drone. You know, it's, it's a little bit better than the budget drones, the normal ones you get. So I give it a thumbs up for that. But all in all, I will say it's up to you guys. You guys saw it. I think it's an awesome idea that they put EIS in with the 4K uh, two axis gimbal video. So in other words, what I'm saying is that the video should have looked really stable, no matter if I was flopping this this way or that way or all over the place. It probably looked pretty decent for what you saw. I hope it did anyways. I haven't seen anything yet. And it does record in an actual 4K format, which is, not like other drones, which only do 2K or 1080p. So it's pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna put links below to where you can find this drone. So check out here, links are there. If you have questions on this drone, just post them below. There is an unboxing coming next. So I'll show you everything that came in the box. There's more, more to it than you see here in this little review. So check out the unboxing. And uh, I'm gonna go grab a coffee. So all right, guys, catch you in the next video. Bye. And now a super quick unboxing of this drone. If you buy this drone, this is what you're gonna get, a cardboard box. And inside this cardboard box is a plastic bag that is sealed. And if I yank that out, it is... Well, it looks like there's a shoulder bag in there. Check out this seal, it's one of these. Body bag? After all that, you get this really nice case and it's not a shoulder bag. I thought it might be. It's an actual, you know, hand carrying bag, but it's uh, pretty decent. So let's open this up. Inside we have some foam and underneath the foam, we see that we have the drone, the controller, some spare props and a little bit of documentation up at the top part here. Opening up the documentation, we have the owner's manual instructions right here. Let's take a quick look at the drone up close. It's not as big as most drones. It is a little bit smaller, which is nice. Makes more portable. Let's get rid of these cardboard uh, holders and get rid of the plastic up top. It also does not seem to weigh very much. The battery's in here, but it's not that heavy. Let me just weigh it right now. All right, plop this down on the weigh scale and we have a total of 564 grams. Let's open up the arm so I can see what it looks like. And there we have the drone all unfolded. So let's take a really close look. Checking out the arms first, we have LED indicators under the rear arms, uh, none under the front arms that I can see on the bottom. They're more in the sides right here and right here. Brushless motors, foldable props, which is really good for portability. Down here, you have a micro SD card. Looking on the bottom, we have an optical flow sensor there going to the front where the camera is and the gimbal guard. I'll get to that in a bit. Let's check the other side, this side here. The only thing I see up here is the USB plug for the battery so you can charge up the battery. And it is one of these batteries that you pull off like that, pressing in the two buttons and here it is. It's an 11 volt battery at 2,500 milliamp hours. And the battery fits back in like this. Just put it in place, push down, there we go. And the rear of the drone just has the marking F11 drone. Let's take this off the front for the gimbal guard. We can pull the whole thing off. There we go. Gimbal guard comes off and reveals our camera right there. Sticky on the camera as well. Get rid of that. We do have a two axis gimbal on this camera. So that means, you know, when the drone is going like this in the wind, the camera is looking forward. And when the drone is going side to side, the camera is looking forward. Next, we have the controller itself and it is a bit different looking than I'm used to. Let me just take these off the joysticks. Just get all the plastic off of this. So it looks pretty and shiny. 
shiny new. So on the rear you have the antennas that pop up. You can put them up as such. You have buttons on the back. You can see they're pretty well labeled. You have little controls here. Jog controls. This one moves. This one moves as well. Joysticks are pretty good. You have a big stop button here. You have the power button, the return to home. These arms pop out. There we go. So you'd hold it like this and you can fit your phone up here. It almost looks like you could fit your phone here just the way it's designed. But uh, this is a phone holder right here. So interesting. There are no batteries in the back so it is rechargeable. So power this on and there's our pretty colors right there. Nothing's connected so it will flash. Can you see the colors? There we go. I don't know how that's going to look outside. You probably saw it in the review already. I probably mentioned if I could see this outdoors. Everything seems to be well labeled on the display. If you can see it outdoors then that's easy to see what is going on. Other item included would be this box that says blades on it. In the box was this bag and inside this bag is a USB cable that you will use to charge up your battery. Also included in that box was this full set of props and in here's a tiny Allen wrench and a few screws for attaching the props to the motors. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review of this SJRC F11 4K drone. If you have questions on this drone, post them below and I will get back to you. If you'd like to buy this drone, the links are below. If you enjoyed this video, well then please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much. And I will catch you in future videos with many more drone reviews. Take care.